crab. <laughs> oh my god, and so we're into it, and Bobby is already comboing Johnny. He just drops right down and goes ham. Johnny gets out of it, only taking 40%, and he's already building up percent of his own. Alright, we're seeing pretty even. Both of them kind of getting a couple half openings up to 70, 80%. Let's see who's going to be the first one to find that mortal blow. Bobby just a little bit late, late on that last shine, so uh, it got the like awkward uh, post no tech hit. Um, otherwise, he might have been able to follow it up a little bit deeper. Yup. He gets the dash attack. Open, and we're 91% into SDJ right now. <laughs> yeah, that seems a little bit fair. <laughs> but Bobby drops his blood. And maybe a, a note to our fans who watch all the time. Uh, we are doing it a little different today. That we are only betting on the first set of grands right now. So if you think Bobby's going to win the first set, but Johnny's going to close out the second set, make sure you're betting for Bob. Yeah. You no longer need to... Ooh! Bobby Big Balls with the homie star. Insane. What an absolute psychopath. Seriously. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <clears throat> okay, Bobby finds the shine. Oh, he goes for the hard read on the tech away, but uh, Johnny just texts the other way, so oh, there goes that combo. Oh my god, great extension <sighs> there. The up tilt scoops him off the slide off. The shield grab is too slow. Bobby Big Balls gets the shine, and it leads to a kill. Bobby looking pretty strong here in this game one, but Johnny's going to answer back with a nair into a knee. He goes for the grab, but oh, edge cancels the lag there, and or hit stun, Ooh. and he's able to get the down air before, or down smash before Johnny's able to close down. Yep. Johnny playing pretty clean, taking that stock right back, bringing it to last stock situation, despite some struggles in the first half of this game. Now he's looking back to business as usual, but Bobby just needs to close out one combo now. Back air could do it. Does allow him to get back to the ledge. Good escape to the top platform. Bobby's, that's a Bobby classic. Uh, very good escape to the top platform, but Johnny finds them there to me. So we talked a little bit before the set started about how important it was going to be for Johnny to be able to get uh, to, to get conversions off of his nares. Uh, when I was talking about that, like in my mind, I was thinking like nair grab yeah. at low percents. But actually what we've seen a bunch of times in that first game was actually nair into knee at sort of those mid high percents mm -hmm. when Bobby, uh, I think he's like either DIing or SDIing to go up more. And then mm -hmm. that's what allows Bo Johnny to just go for that, that uh Yep. knee and kill get the free kill really fast yep yeah these these mid percent nares actually they they're really hard to avoid follow-ups i'm not sure if di away even gets you out um mm -hmm. especially if it sends you off stage because then you don't even get to tech like you're still in hit stun as you're going below the stage and falcon can follow you down there with the knee a little bit so um, mm -hmm. johnny just having really good awareness of his percents i think and, and when he can and can't go for a follow-up so mm -hmm. But Bobby's still looking pretty strong. And let's remember, too, that that last game did have a homie stock, right? So. <laughs> mm hmm mm hmm Okay. Johnny able to find the second up air to push him off stage and, and get the free kill on Falco there. Bobby comes back with his inv invincibility, gets a big combo, but not killing just Ooh, yet. This is scary. He's all the way in the corner. That's one of those overreaches a little bit. Kind of wanted the combo a little bit more. Um... Finds a CC shine, does close it out, took 33% for his troubles. All right, so now he's only going to get basically one hit of CC to play with here. He finds the shine, but not able to find the conversion. Really good by Johnny to get the double jump right away, so he's sort of out of danger. Okay, Bobby picking it back up. Bunch of shines, gets, gets caught clipped. by the up air, oh. and yeah! Ooh. Johnny's just too punishing. That was just like such a, a kind of the same thing as the last talk, a little bit of an overreach. But it really was like a little bit of an overreach and johnny mm -hmm. killed him for it so mm -hmm. yeah so opportunistic by johnny to not only get the counter hit but also to take it all the way to a kill yeah gotta play well to beat johnny <laughs> absolutely can't make any mistakes johnny now kind of bopping bobby here in this next stock he's already got him up to 50 percent yep. and just in total control momentum fully in johnny's favor yep. we see nair's already at knockdown percent here up air runoff up air does Knock him far enough away to kill. That's crazy. Doesn't even need a knee that stock. All right, Bobby down three stocks to one. Looking pretty painful here. He is able to find the back air there to get the second stock, but still a bit of a mountain to climb here. 
Okay, great play on the side platform to get the back air, but that's all he's going to find. Stomp just goes right over the Shine. One of the things you got to be careful in this matchup, Shine is the thing you want the most, but it loses to Stomp, which is the thing Falcon wants the most. <laughs> so, <laughs> both playing with Ooh. absolute huge punish options back and forth. You can kind of jump Shine to mitigate that, but then you oftentimes have to jump out of that, and then you're above Falcon, and being above Falcon also sucks. So it can kind of be kind of scary to play, the kind of play style that I described versus Fox, where you kind of play neutral looking for only shines. Um, mm -hmm. Versus Falcon, it's it's a lot harder to do that because if he's just spacing out nares, he outspaces your shines. And if he stomps, he could just jump over your shine and just kill you for it mm -hmm. one time. So yeah, there's yeah, so a couple shines whiffing again. It's just, he curls up his body so much and... <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's crazy because the reward is still there, right? Like, you yeah, still yeah, want exactly. the shine just as much, but the risk is so much higher. Exactly, yeah. So and it yeah, can kind of again. trick you into thinking, oh yeah, I should go for the high reward option over and over again. But I think as far as neutral plays out, it ends up being worse than it is against Fox to play neutral that way. Um, and then aerials like, kind of end up working out a little bit better against Falcon than they do against Fox, especially in the air-to-air -air game when you can like nair through nair and stuff, and nair versus stomp, so... Okay, Ooh. Johnny, he's able to CC all the way in the corner there. Out Gets the big punish. Bobby able to find the ledge the for Bobby a option. Yup, the down air fade back forward smash. Doesn't work against Johnny. Oh, and the trade working out in Johnny's favor again. The he finds the down tilt and the double jump. Double laser. Oh, the knee. Oh, my God. He just, like, tapped him off stage over and over and over again until he was high enough percent for the knee to just close it out. And Johnny right now is looking real strong. Johnny having no choice but to return to homie stock after how, uh, like, okay. <laughs> He's like, bro, I can only homie so much, you know? <laughs> I am supposed to try to kill you here, you know? <laughs> yeah, Johnny, looking like he wants to just close out this tournament right away. Yeah. Uh, he did give Bobby a chance back uh, there after an mm. apparent SD. Um, so we'll see if he can do anything. Yeah. He gets the side B oh, into the he nair. Gets the nair before he lands. Bobby's still able to tech. The runoff up air is going to close out another stock. And 